And finally tonight, a glimpse of the lives of the rich and infamous criminals who get around in private jets and luxury yachts. But when they get caught, can their victims get the swank spoils? Here's ABC's Pierre Thomas. A beautiful quarter horse, one of more than 300 for sale. But this is not your typical auction. This one is being coordinated by the U.S. Marshals. The horses were owned by this corrupt city bookkeeper. Rita Crundwell embezzled $50 million from Dixon, Illinois taxpayers. Typical of the lifestyles of the rich and infamous. In any given moment, the U.S. Marshals are managing $4 billion in assets from the nation's worst convicted criminals. Proceeds go to pay victims and fund police. Check out this Marshals car auction in Ohio. Some of the nation's biggest criminals have great taste like the crook who owned this classic 1963 split window Corvette valued at $75,000. Love this car. As for the taste of other alleged criminals, I'm not so sure. This is the Hulkmobile. A drug dealer spent $175,000 turning the car into a monster. Power hood, power trunk, TVs everywhere. You know, it's all about the money. It's not just classic cars. We're talking yachts, a $2 million RV, extravagant jewelry, even a diamond-studded SpongeBob. Here's the secret hangar where the government stores confiscated airplanes. Comfortably seat up to eight people and have the, the TVs throughout, the, the small monitors, a uh, nice wet bar. Lifestyles of the rich and infamous. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Fort Worth, Texas.